Well, this is the PFE reefer crane with Black Widow F units on it. Just bought this set of F units there, Intermountains. All four units are powered. And all the cars are Athern 40 foot ice bunker reefers in Pacific Fruit Express lettering. There's some various lettering schemes on the cars, but all the cars are Pacific Fruit Express PFE ice bunker reefers. The ice bunker reefers, the last of them was retired in 1972, as were the last of the F7 units on the Southern Pacific were retired in 1972. The last two F units were the F7A number 6432 and the last F7B was 8104. Both of them were in black widow paint clear to the end. They were never repainted into the red and gray. So anyway the F units on here are in the black widow paint and the black widow paint was officially changed in 1958 to the red and gray but it some of the F units were never repainted. Well, here's the set of F units at the head end of the train. And there's two A's with two B's in between them. And the train does go quite a ways around the layout. And here's all the PFE cars. And it goes on around the second side of the layout through the tunnels on this one side of the layout here. And then it goes up the third side of the room to a caboose right here. The caboose is a Walther's C30-1 caboose that they came out with a few years ago. It's an excellent caboose. And as I mentioned, all the reefers are Athern 40-foot ice bunker reefers in PFE. And here comes the F units again. And we've got a derailment there. Well, we'll try this again and see how it goes. This train is not equipped with KD trucks. It is equipped with Bowser trucks. I've had this train for over 40 years, so it's been around a while. And um, it's got a few miles on it, but it looks like we may embark on a process of replacing all the Bowser trucks with KD trucks. KD trucks are far superior to Bowser. So, it looks like it might be a, a project to do. At the time I built this train, I wasn't into KD trucks uh, like I am now. And there's no substitute for KD trucks. And so this train will get all KD number 500 Bettendorf trucks. As I mentioned earlier, the last of the ice bunker refrigerator cars were retired in 1972. Uh, PFE had replaced all of them with mechanical refrigerators by that time. There used to be ice docks along the tracks at various places where the refrigerator cars could be re-iced. The uh, cars were able to get them down into single digits Fahrenheit using ice and salt into the bunkers on each end of the car. And then there were some fans that circulated the air in the car. The fans were were powered by the train moving. So when the car was being pulled, that was what would um, would turn the fans to circulate the air in the car. And as I just mentioned, they could get the cars down to about single digit Fahrenheit, but they had to stop for ice and salt all the time. Here's the F units in the red and gray. 
as I mentioned, 1958 was the year they started painting red and gray. And the red and gray paint scheme lasted from 1958 till the end of the SP in 1996 when Union Pacific bought it out. These are Ather and F units, good old fashioned blue box. They're pulling this train, all four of them are powered with the super weights. And they probably, probably two of those would pull this train, but of course, four looks a lot better. Southern Pacific also used GP9s on the reefer trains. So we have a set of four Athern Blue Box GP9s. They've had SP details added to them. Also, I added extra weight inside the car bodies, so they should pull pretty well. this again. The lead car for some reason kept jumping the track. I think it's the Bowser trucks. So all my cars equipped with KD trucks stay on the track so evidently it's the Bowser trucks and we'll have to cure that problem. 